there you go. That's how they use it on the road. Just <laughs> sharing the path together. There goes another guy there. Woo! Just cutting across. It's just this road sense, guys. It's this road sense that people learn to share together and no accidents happen because people learn to share together. Like, they are well aware that people just cross the road and everything. They just rely on that, their senses more than just staring at a traffic light and blindly following the lights. Alright, how are you guys doing man? Like after the previous video, I have to say that I've actually experienced some changes in Singapore. But before we get to that, I'd like to ask you guys something. Now I made a prediction a few months back because the newspaper said that the government was going to increase the uh, water taxes for the next three months around I think the period in which we are, we are at now. And my prediction was that it was a very smart move because I believed that you know they are always calculating the statistics of temperature increase and decrease and they would probably know that the temperature is going to increase around now all right so because of that they increase the taxes at this period of time they know that people are going to use the aircon more they know that people are going to bathe more whatever it is to cool themselves down and this is the best time to actually increase the electrical prices so that was kind of like a prediction that i made on the temperature now i'd like to ask you guys okay unbiasedly don't just say it like oh it's increasing because you dislike them or you like them or whatsoever okay unbiasedly do you guys actually feel that the temperature in singapore has actually risen because i have showered at least three times before i sat down here and I think that the temperature is really increasing drastically but you know I want to know like what you guys think honestly right I mean is the temperature really increasing or not like do you guys feel more humid hotter at this period of time so recently the government added on that the price of electricity will actually increase even more in November and December so I know many of us believe that December is like the monsoon period it starts to rain or whatsoever but you know let's just see let's just see whether uh, because we know that the weather changes have been happening and in the past few years the monsoon season has been shifting towards January, if you actually recall. So we shall see whether November and December also becomes a very hot period. And if November and December is also a very hot period, I think it's a very smart move by them. Because it really, it's not telling you that, oh, because it's hot, I'm going to earn from you. It's just something which like, you know, let's put it this way. And well, anyway, the temperature is going to increase and let's just wait and see. You know, so it's a very, very smart move. Okay, so anyway, coming back to the topic on, you know, bicycles, PMDs, or basically people who are non-pedestrians, people who don't walk. First of all, before we continue, I'd like to say that since my first video, I've been going out to take videos of people walking. I mean, not with them knowing, all right? So I just follow from the back or the front. I'd like to say that there has been a huge improvement, really. I cannot say it's because of the video that I've made, but I can really say that there has been a huge improvement, maybe because of the increase of accidents here and there, so people become more aware, and now, the society seem to be more cohesive like if you're traveling down the path and you actually ring your bell as a cyclist people actually do take note and they actually move aside people do stop they step off the path for you to cross or they step to one corner they no longer stand in the middle and just block the way still people who will just stand in the middle and block the way but it's much less than before much much less than before and because of that i think i have to say well done to these people like if you're one of them if the pedestrian and you are actually watching this video well done well done for you know having this social awareness and improvement in you know knowing what's happening around you and walking off the path or even keeping to the left or right for people to pass i think that's a very nice cohesive way in which people can live right to give way here and there and, and e-scooteries too i've seen a few of them uh, going down the path and they actually just stop dismount and just push that's really a huge improvement for everyone in singapore and, and thank you so much for making it happen. to me if we can as a society really improve ignoring whatever nonsense that is happening like the lta and whatever nonsense they're trying to do if we can just improve by ourselves and let them do whatever they want to do right? i mean really people don't really care right like if you actually go on the street who on earth really follows whatever laws they're setting now because it's too ridiculous people try to adhere to the rules but when it comes to a point in which it's really too ridiculous and really too you know like uh illogical too silly to follow they tend to just give up and that's what i observe on the on the roads now myself i don't really travel too much but when i do i do observe such things and i can really say that non-pedestrians don't really bother anything about the laws like you can really see the speed they go at you can see the the weight limit of their their pmds or bicycles or whatever they have nobody follows because it's just way too ridiculous so i think that as a society if we can really improve the situation on on our own at the end of the day if really you get caught 
then too bad, right? Too bad. Like, we, we just don't care because there's no way to not get caught in that sense. So I think that as a society, we can act on our own actions and really improve ourselves to a point in which we are able to live cohesively, that will be good. I think that will be good on its own. Like, we don't really have to care about whatever nonsense other people are trying to do, right? There's no way to control what people are doing. Like, if you go to a market and you see a child acting stupid or an adult acting silly or acting like a clown, we don't have to care about that clown. We just need to focus on ourselves and, you know, the people around us. We just need to make sure that we live cohesively and let that clown or, you know, maybe um, medically unsound person react in whichever way they want to, right? So I'm, I'm not trying to say that. My point being that we shouldn't be affected by the medical or mental makeup of any one person. Like, we who can think we live in harmony, we live in cohesiveness, and if people, you know, who can't think they want to do their own things, let them be. Maybe they were born that way, maybe they were all born in a similar way. I mean, birds of the same feather flock together. Probably, you know, people of the same kind collate together, and then the rest of the society just have to live in a very cohesive manner. And I really can say that I have seen uh, people really giving away now and living in harmony and that is really amazing like that is the kind of Singapore that I envision people being able to live together people being able to smile there have been times when I actually go past others and I say thank you and you know even the pedestrians they reply welcome or even PMD users or cyclists who pass me uh, when I'm cycling down the path or when I'm e-scootering down the path, they do acknowledge. They do just, you know, smile. They do just nod their head. They do say, excuse me. They do say thank you. So I think that the society has been a much better place already. And, and for that, well done, guys. If you're watching this, well done. And if you have a friend who is a pedestrian or non-pedestrian, you know, basically living in Singapore, do send them this video and let them know, well done, you know. Well done. Uh, I think we need to learn to praise others too. And by praising others, people learn to improve. Because really, I think it, it is really amazing that people are living cohesively. And for that, thank you so much and well done. On the other hand, I'm here to share some updates with you guys. There are three things I'd like to talk about. And I think the first one is something which many of us experience as we travel from one point to the next point. And that would be the LTA personnel, right? So... Apparently, as you're traveling, you see LTA personnel. The first thing that I realize, and I like to talk about here, and I like to hear your opinions on this, right? Like, do they actually know what they're supposed to do? They know they're supposed to confiscate, they know they're supposed to make your life tough, but do they actually know how to check, what to check, or what are the rules? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because having experienced some of these over the past few weeks, you guys have seen the videos of people stopping and communicating with LTA, right? I realized that different LTA personnel have different understanding on what unladen weight is, on what the rules are. Just to clarify, like if we really talk about the actual meaning of unladen, unladen really means not carrying a load. So it means that if say um, you own a truck or a lorry and you have, let's say you're you're carrying people, you're carrying like goods, you're carrying boxes and you tie your boxes down onto your lorry or onto your vehicle, maybe a motorbike or a car, you tie it down to make sure that it doesn't fall off, right? Even like uh, cars, they transport bicycles and they attach the bicycles to the car and they travel. So the meaning of unladen weight would really mean that you remove the bicycles or anything that you attach to the car. Whether you're using it or not in the car, you actually remove it. What unladen weight really means is the actual weight of the vehicle itself or the device itself. So like a van, which is stock, a stock van, meaning that I just bought this van from the shop and this van is, is what it is. The actual van is the unladen weight of the van. We're not talking about the van in which you, you know, we put the stock on, you attach it on and make sure that it doesn't fall off. Um, we're not talking about things that you attach onto the van so that you, you can use it while you're in the van. Say example, you have a van and you have a fan or a phone charger which you plug onto the van and you actually use the, the battery of the van to charge your phone. That is actually supposed to be removed when we're talking about the unladen weight of your vehicle. So in the same way, the unladen weight of an e-scooter actually means to remove every single thing even though it's plugged in or not plugged in, even though it's hung on or stuck on or anything, it's going to remove it and the actual weight of the device with nothing on. Think whether or not this thing is actually plugged in or unplugged from your device at the start or wherever they find you. The idea of unladen really means that having nothing at all. Having nothing at all removed and I mean of course, Whatever is stock has to be there. So if you change your handle and an e-scooter is supposed to have a handle, then the handle is inclusive. So things that you are actually supposed to be able to remove are things like uh, the bags that you hang on at the front. Anything that you hang on actually, anything that you hang on or uh, screw on, you're actually supposed to be able to remove them because unladen weight really means 
none of these things on top okay because these are just so-called attachments that you uh, hook on to carry on of course permanent attachments are different permanent attachments means things that maybe you uh, solder onto your e-scooter or something which you tied on uh, permanently and you cannot just i mean to take it off would take maybe say half an hour for you to unscrew the whole thing then that would be equivalent to having that item being laden onto your e-scooters already right so the meaning of unladen is something which um, maybe i would say within five minutes you can remove it it's just basically unladen it's the same as a van or a car you have something and you're attaching it on whether or not an external battery whether or not external lights or whatsoever as long as um, it is something that's hooked on you know and not tied on permanently or screwed on permanently you are able to actually remove it easily you should actually be able to remove them and then the actual weight of the e-scooter with nothing on is actually called the unladen weight of the e-scooter so i realized that the lta personnel don't really know this like when you go from one to the next they have no idea some actually believe that if you plug in an external battery into the e-scooter it's actually counted in your unladen weight but that is actually not unladen you don't consider that as unladen you know because it's an external thing which you plug in you can just take it off easily even if they say that you used it oh you used it but like in the example that i gave you you can be using something in a car in a van or whatsoever but as long as you can just easily pull it off it's okay i'm using a handphone charger in a car or a van if you can just unplug it it's not counted in the laden weight really you know even if i'm using the car's battery even if there's a connection it doesn't actually count to be the laden weight is the battery connected in front is that counted as unladen weight yeah of course you use it so using it but if let's say they just carry it in front is it okay you carry for what way? i mean as a backup battery in case they need it it's still not allowed so there's no hanging of batteries at the front at all all right no, no not attached as in just carrying in front but you don't attach to the e-scooter because like we don't know like when you saw us then you all right if, if. so that is not allowed to be. yeah if it's part of the film. Alright, okay. So these are things which I realized that they themselves don't really know. They themselves are kind of like lost at. And different people have different understanding. And at the end of the day, it's not really what unladen weight is. It's really what they want to describe it as. So this really means that as you are traveling, whether you fall in a compliant or non-compliant nature in this unladen weight description is really up to your luck. Like who you meet and you know how they want to describe it. Alright guys, so I know I said like I had three things to share with you guys but I realized that there's just too much information. You know, when, when things get so dense, it becomes very hard to assimilate every single thing. So because of that, <laughs> I'm actually going to split it into three different blocks. But stay tuned because all the way to the last block, we will be giving very important information. And in our last vlog relating to all these things, we are actually gonna give away a camera, all right? We are gonna give away a camera which you can use as you travel. It's gonna be very useful, it's gonna be very helpful. So please do watch all these videos and finish everything because you don't wanna go all the way to the last video just to see how to win this camera and then you realize, oh, shush. I actually needed to watch something in front. These three videos are really very condensed because we want to put all the information in so that you can protect yourself. Don't just see this as something which is like information for you to cheer about or be happy about. No, it's not. It's really a way in which you can understand what really is happening and to protect yourself with this information. And instead of sitting back and just getting bullied and affected by all these things, it is time for you to share your knowledge with others. It is time for you to step out and help others to understand what is the real meaning of certain things. Even when you meet the LTA, it is probably time to start to speak. Recently, someone just told me in the world, they are born warriors, they are born soldiers, and they're just born people. So we have to do our part as who we are, all right? Share the information with others, teach them. Even if you see LTA, I know it's very hard to speak to them. I know they were just, they're trained not to listen to you. They're not trained warriors. Let's be honest, they're not trained warriors. They're not trained thinkers. They're not people who analyze and try to understand what really is happening. Is it really valid or not valid? They're not there to think. To be very honest, I actually called directly to the LTA HQ and I spoke to this guy. I did ask him about the issue of, you know, hanging your battery in front or even plugging it to the e-scooter. And he himself told me that it is only the device weight that will be weighed. I'm not going to mention names here, but this is a real incident and I've got the date and time of the conversation has been taken. The whole idea is that we can do our part as human beings. Let those who are non-warriors do what non-warriors do. But for us, if you think that you are a person who think, you are a person who analyzes, which I think many of us are, so then spread this message, teach people, speak up and help them to understand. It's very hard for people 
to understand anything if we just complain without trying to explain what really is happening. Alright, so with that, I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you so much for joining us. It's really, I mean, this vlog is long, but I hope that you can realize that there is so much information. And believe me, the next two vlogs are going to be like filled with so much information. Ah, I don't want you to be sitting down to be like watching one hour worth of vlog. That becomes like a lecture. There may be so much information, but it becomes very hard to absorb. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for uh, watching this vlog once again. It's really great to have you guys here uh, just watching all the way to the end and just listen to me talk. So stay cool, stay awesome, and be your best always. Thank you, and bye.